What was it like working with Biggie? Oh man, like having a party and and working at the same time. Like man, being in, in a session with Biggie, him and L, it was exciting because you knew these dudes are gonna come with some shit. Like I couldn't wait to hear what Big was gonna come with. This is early Big. This is ready to die Big. You know. Yeah. But he was dope from when I heard him on Party and Bullshit. So when we would come in, first thing Big would ask was, yo, we got a food budget? <laughs> first thing we're going to do, going to order some food. We're going to have some drinks. We might have a dice game. We have a mean dice game. And then he would go in the booth and, you know, start putting his song down. Like, you forget we having so much fun that we even in a session. So a lot of his, his stuff was just, he was a character, man. I, I miss him so much, man, because his vibe was just fun. Fun. I mean, when he went in that, in that booth, it was business. But him as a person, man, man, I ain't, ain't going to never be nobody like that dude. Yeah, we love Big Smile. Big Smile embraced organized noise and outcast. That's the first person besides Positive K people like that, but Biggie, because he was signed the bad boy, Arista, the Puffy can't, L.A. Reed hooked Puffy up with, with Clyde, so one of his favorites back was for Puffy to come down here and help with Outkast's video. So just so happened, mm. Biggie heard Outkast a mix sample we had, the mix, the, the mix CD, the same, same way we had, we had the Big Mac sample, the sample like that. Like we used to come, we used to post um, um, with Biggie and Puffy, whatever, and Biggie, uh, the first show Outkast had in New York, um, the record label people told us that, you know, this is New York or whatever. Um, don't expect nobody to really be um, saying that. Just don't stop. You know what I'm saying? They might not cheer. As long as they don't boo, just, just, he said, even if they, I'm sorry, he said, even if they boo, don't, just don't stop. Whatever they do, just don't stop. So we performing. And then, you know, I see this big dude come in, put, and he um, leaning up against the stage. And I'm on stage with Outkast. They probably 18. They probably just turned 18. So, so like, I'm on stage with them, just, just trying to like keep keep them hype. And Biggie put comes up to the stage and at the stage, pressed up against the stage, was on up the whole time. Nobody else in the crowd. They doing shit. Just Biggie by himself. From that point on, like the can't like like we, we was like family at that point on. We, we never really got a chance to because I know Jermaine did songs with him and all that, but we we didn't we were still just competing with each other still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We them cats. Sleeping with extra 100, like, yeah, you know, it was a different biggie. You know, that biggie was sleeping on um, pop sofa, and that, that we knew about the house. Like, we that's one biggie. Then, once we they heard that outcast and heard that southern playlist, oh, the music production changed. Then, then he started, <laughs> then he started rapping over stuff that was a little bit different. He didn't change, but that's when the music changed because they saw that, oh man, oh, shit, biggie, you know what I'm saying? So, they hold up, kind of, um, love it when you call me big pop. Uh, that, that video in Southern Player listed video is like, so we felt like we were being embraced then because we knew we knew right. Biggie was incredible. We felt like if he think if he don't think this shit corny or commercial, we doing then everybody else who hate in New York really they really tripping. And then of course it was easier to accept when once they man's was killing it. the same way when yeah. Biggie jumped on the, the um the Bone record when Biggie jumped on the Bone record he taught every New York MC how to jump on a bounce beat. Mercy. No, Biggie by far, I'd say what makes Biggie one of the most dangerous and one of the greatest because his batting average, he was batting a thousand. Anything <laughs> that Big was on, he he ain't think, did Biggie ever have a flop? Name one flop. Anything he jumped on, he destroyed. Hey, man, the song was super cat. Even, even when Puffy was rhyming, it was hard. <laughs> Or I was in that session. 